So, what's your personality? Well, let me share with you, first of all, my personality. My personality is based on the mediator typology personality type from the Myers-Briggs test. And um, I studied psychology when I was at university and business. And I remember taking the Myers-Briggs uh, test a long time ago. And I did it again recently, um, a couple of weeks ago. And I noticed that my personality over the last uh, 20 years has changed a little bit. I've become a little bit more introverted, which is quite, quite interesting and a little bit surprising. Um, I don't know if you know, but the Myers-Briggs typology test is really, really interesting. If you don't know about it or if you haven't taken a test yet, check out uh, the website 16personalities.com and then you'll uh, go to a free test and it will take you, well, it took me about 20 minutes to do the test and then you can get your uh, personality type, which is really interesting. And why am I talking about personality with you right now? Well, the reason why I want to talk about personality, first of all, because it's super interesting anyway, but it relates very much so to knowing yourself in enabling yourself to upskill, to reskill, to you know, think about transitioning into a new job role, into a new career path, or maybe even starting a business, right? So um, I took the test and I found it really interesting. And uh, I'm a mediator, as I said before. And it was really interesting because uh, when you've done the test, you can also um, find and read about you know, what a mediator or what your personality trait um, you, of course you can read about the strengths and weaknesses but you can also read in depth in detail about the types of career paths that would attract you very very much or um, you know how you are as a manager for example or what you're like as a colleague so um, I don't want to make this video too long for you it's just a quick uh, taster video but I want to share um, something uh, with you today. Um, so now with me, um, I'm very lucky because uh, throughout my working life, I've been a freelancer. I'm, I'm, I'm an independent kind of worker. Um, I don't really have some boss looking down on me. I've never really had a boss looking down on me. Um, also, I've never managed, you know, like a large team or something like that. I've, so I've always enjoyed, um, you know, doing work that I love and choosing, you know, what interests me, you know, throughout many, you know, for many, many years now, I've been uh, following that kind of life. Uh, and I work from home, I've, I've worked from home for a long, long time. And I just get to do things that I enjoy. Because a mediator, um, we, we don't really like doing things that we, I know it sounds strange, but we don't like doing things we don't enjoy. It sounds obvious, right? But like, I realized this when I was very, very young, when I was uh, at university. The idea of you know, working in a, in, in a large, large uh, company didn't attract me at all. So uh, I decided to become more of an entrepreneur um, and uh, build my own skill set and figure out my, you know, my passions and my strengths and weaknesses um, that way. Right, um, but the idea of uh, going to the office every day and you know go, coming back home that did not inspire me at all. So that's kind of a little bit of an insight of what a mediator or who a mediator is. Now, let me share with you um, something about um, if you have a mediator colleague. So if if you have somebody like me as a colleague, um, they're like it. They as a mediator, I'm kind of respecting everyone. Like I have a very equal, um, uh, comfortable feeling with a lot of people. So very easygoing, very, um, you know, kind of peaceful and kind of like giving everybody the same amount of attention or at least try to. Um, but a mediator in particular, a mediator, they have no interest in controlling people. None, zero interest. So that's me. I don't have any interest in controlling people. Um, um, they love sharing ideas, yeah. Um, but a mediator, you'll always sense when you're working with a mediator personality type like myself that there'll be some psychological distance, which is interesting. 
Um, but even though you feel like it, there's a distance between you and another mediator, um, you, which, which may or may not be a positive or negative thing, but there will be, they will be kind, they will be pleasant, they will be nice and enjoyable. Uh, you'll feel like they're making an effort to make the work or whatever, make, to make it fun, right? Uh, you know, and supportive and uh, things like that. So that's what a mediator is. That's the kind of person they are, right? Um, as managers, as managers, mediators, for me, and maybe you're a mediator, but um, you, you wouldn't think a mediator can be a manager. They can be good managers, but a certain type of manager. But generally speaking, um, they, uh, yeah, they, they are, they're very egalitarian managers. What do I mean by egalitarian? Um, very um, giving everyone an equal opportunity to speak, to be heard. So um, it's, a, it's a very specific type of management style. Um, so uh, they are very, very flexible as well. Um, I'm, I would agree with that. Um, when it comes to me, if I'm managing a group, I'm maybe too flexible, <laughs> right? Which can also be a weakness uh, of, of a mediator. So you need to know your weaknesses as well. Um, but they are very, very open-minded, um, et cetera, et cetera. So um, there you have it. I talked a little bit about mediator as colleagues, uh, mediator managers. Um, there's a lot more you can figure out from your own personality. So I, um, I, I think it's really fascinating personality. Um, and there are 16 types in the Myers-Briggs um, test. Uh, there are four categories. There are, uh, let me just see here, analysts. So under the analysts, there are, there's the architect, logis logician, if I can say that properly, commander, uh, debater. So there are four under the uh, analyst uh, category. Then there are four diplomats, uh, the advocate, mediator, protagonist, and campaigner. Yeah. Then under sentinels, there are the logis logicians, logisticians, sorry, <laughs> uh, defender, executive and the consul um, under explorers there are there are the uh, the virtuoso adventurer entrepreneur and entertainer so check it out for yourself um, I think it's super interesting it doesn't take long it maybe in uh, 20 minutes you've done your your test I spoke to a CEO James Sinclair if you're watching James hello um, last week uh, we had a, a Zoom call for about 45 minutes. He's based in uh, Los Angeles in California in the US. And he's um, working, uh, his company is called Enterprise Alumni, which is a very large, uh, fast growing company. And we got talking about upskilling and reskilling and how important and essential it is to really invest a lot of time, no matter whether you're going to university or coming out of university or if you've been in the workforce for a long, long time, whatever, it's essential to review personality because you're going to get some really huge insights. Um, uh, you're going to revisit some insights like I did just recently. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, my personality has changed a little bit and as a psychologist, I can tell you that over the course of a lifetime, personality really doesn't change too much. Maybe a few percentage points, that's it. But um, it's good to know um, and good to check in with yourself every, I would say, you know, uh, every, every couple of years, uh, I would say, um, at, the, at the very least, and read up and invest some time and energy into understanding and reflecting upon your job and your career and thinking about, okay, wow, you know, who am I as a manager now? Who am I as a colleague? Um, who do I work well with? What, what kind of job is, some, is you know, suitable for me? Uh, those kind of questions, you know? So I hope you found this interesting. And uh, I, if, if you did, just let me know and I'm happy to make more videos on personality theory and I hope it can help you out. Anyway, thank you very much. And as always, uh, share this video 
Um, you can check out my newsletter, check out the website, theupskillpodcast.com. Follow me on LinkedIn, subscribe on YouTube, Dave Online, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now and all the best. Take care and always upskill.